Federal authorities on Thursday released photographs and video of the two suspects, labeling the suspect in a black baseball cap, Suspect 1, and the suspect in a white baseball cap turned backwards, Suspect 2. Authorities say the white hat suspect from the marathon bombings, known as Suspect 2, is on the loose and is armed and dangerous. Investigators have confirmed that the two men are also suspected of fatally shooting a campus police officer at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology before stealing a car and fleeing to Watertown, where they engaged police in a fierce gun battle captured here on amateur video. Authorities say the suspects threw explosives from their car as police chased them. Officials say suspect one, pictured in a black baseball cap in FBI photos, was fatally wounded in a shootout with police and died after being taken to Beth Israel Hospital. Dr. David Schoenfeld, a physician at the hospital, is also a Watertown resident who heard the gun battle between the suspects and the police. When I started hearing the, the gunshots and the explosions, um, given what had happened over at MIT and seeing all the police cars rushing in uh, into Watertown past my, uh, past my house and hearing all the sirens, I knew or felt very strongly that this was related to the events from earlier this week, uh, as well as from what happened over at uh, at MIT earlier in the evening. Hospital officials say the suspect arrived in cardiac arrest with multiple gunshot wounds and signs of shrapnel injuries that could have come from an explosive blast. Early Friday, Massachusetts State Police spokesman Timothy Alden summed up the situation. We believe these are the same individuals that were responsible for the bombing on Monday at the Boston Marathon. We believe that they're responsible for the death of an MIT police officer and the shooting of an MBTA police officer. This is a very serious situation that we're dealing with. Monday's twin bombings near the finish of the Boston Marathon killed three people, including an eight-year-old boy and a Chinese-born graduate student. More than 170 people were injured. Jeff Custer, VOA News.